This is the second video of a two-part exercise where we're creating a circle mesh without using Blender's built-in circle mesh operator. And at the end of the video, I'll show you a couple more exercises to solidify your knowledge. Hey, I'm Victor Stepanoff. I'll be guiding you through this beginner Blender Python exercise. In this video, we'll be starting off where we left off in the previous video. We'll connect the vertices that we got in the previous video and create a circle mesh. If you're just joining us, I'll provide a link in the description to the code that we already have so you can just copy and paste that into the scripting workspace of Blender. To make sure that we're starting off on the same page, the code that we have should produce coordinates for vertices of the circle mesh using the circle equation. I'm going to clear the scene by hovering over the 3D viewport and hitting AX and then delete and uh, changing the radius to 2 right here and just rerunning the script. This should create uh, vertices uh, and we're checking the locations of these vertices by placing icospheres. So this is the only thing that this script should be doing at this point. Uh, and to start off, I, I wanna start introducing a concept called functions. In Blender, to organize objects in your scene, you would usually use a thing called collections, right? To make things more easier to manage. In our scripts, we use things called functions to organize our code in a similar manner. I'm gonna create a new function uh, with the code that we have here. So I'm gonna write a definition. So create, uh, so def is defining a function and then what follows is the name of the function. I'm going to call it uh, get uh, circle circle uh, and then uh, vert coordinates. It's, all right. So to place the code inside the function, uh, I would just select this code and indent it. All right. This is basically it right we defined a new function and it's called uh, get circle vert coordinates right the function consists of the name some parameters and uh, eventually we would want to return sometimes something out of this function let me show you how this works so i'm going to clear the scene again and if i run the script now nothing will happen and you might ask yourself why we have a ton of code here, right? And it's not doing anything. The thing is about function is, is that we define it, right? Meaning that we tell Python that, hey, this, uh, there's a function and it's called this and it doesn't have any parameters and it does this, right? And Python says, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take note of that. The thing is that to use a function, we need to call it, right? Uh, similar, in the similar manner as we uh, call, like create, like create the icosphere right here, right? We call it, we can define our own functions and this is how you do it, right? Now I'm gonna call this function, right? I'm gonna run it and now uh, our code is running as it was before. So this is great. Uh, now I wanna start uh, by adding parameters that we can uh, use inside of this function. The thing that I'm looking at uh, is uh, right here, I wanna define, be able to set the vert count and the radius outside of our function. So I would put these as uh, parameters that we pass in inside uh, to this function, right? I'm gonna copy this and Place it here. Uh, I'm selecting and hitting Shift uh, Tab to unindent. Right, we don't need that extra indentation. Uh, I'm going to remove this because this is already defined uh, in the function. And so, since we're passing this in as parameters uh, outside of the function, I'm going to put this right here, right, and right here. And now we're passing these uh, two variables as parameters into our function. And they are getting added right here, right? Into the function and used. So we don't need this anymore. 
and now uh, we can run it. So I'm going to clear the scene again and run the script. See, it's running. Uh, we can update this to maybe four. Let's run that script again, and you can see it updated uh, as we uh, expect. I want to underline the point that uh, the name of uh, the variables that we're passing in right here don't uh, have to match uh, the arguments names right here. So any, everything that is inside of this body of this function uh, and where we're using these uh, two arguments need to be the same as this. But outside, outside of this function, this could be anything. I'm just going to uh, add a couple numbers at the end just to prove the point. So this is already a different um, name uh, than this. Of course, uh, you could experiment on your own. I, I highly suggest just change this to something else to really make uh, this uh, stick. I'm going to clear the scene and run the script again. And as you can see, it still continues to run even though these are different uh, names. So I'm going to remove this. Not only we can pass in arguments into a function, we can get values returned from uh, a function. In this particular case, we want to uh, return uh, the vert coordinates that we calculated in this function. And this is done by uh, this uh, return statement. So we tell Python that out of this function, return this particular variable, right? So we're, uh, remember, creating this list and adding uh, the coordinates x, y, and z. And um, we're returning it here. So to get the result, uh, we would need to assign the result right here. And again, uh, the same thing goes uh, as I mentioned in the, uh, the names of the arguments. This doesn't really have to match uh, the thing that we're returning. And if you have any questions about what we're covering here, don't forget to ask them in the comments. Also, you can DM me on Twitter or Instagram at CG Python. Okay, next we'll start creating the mesh itself. If you saw my previous uh, video about creating a cube out of uh, vertices, then you'll remember that we need to define a list of verts, faces, and edges. Then use those lists to create some mesh data. And then use that mesh data to create an object. And finally, add that object into the scene. I'm going to copy over uh, some comments just to save time uh, about what exactly we'll be doing. So uh, as I said, create uh, the lists, uh, create the data, uh, create the object using the data, and then finally add that object to uh, the scene. Let's start off by uh, defining the list of uh, verts, right? Um, remember that we could define a list using these square brackets or uh, calling uh, the list uh, operator right here, right? Um, then we have the edges and then faces. All right, right now uh, all this is empty uh, and we're just gonna create everything and then fill it out uh, at the end, okay? I'll go into the interactive Python console and uh, and look at how to create the mesh data. So data, mesh, and then uh, new. Oops, data, mesh, and then uh, new. All right, so this is uh, what creates the mesh data. We need to provide a name as the documentation string uh, tells us. Uh, I'm gonna create a circle a data. Can't spell today. <laughs> uh, all right, so this is gonna be the mesh data. I'm gonna create a variable, so like that. Next, uh, using this mesh data, uh, we need to use the uh, list that we created above and uh, add them, right? So, so I think it's from uh, from Py Python data. Here we go. So, uh, again, looking at the documentation string, uh, 
we have to provide vertices, edges, and faces. So let's uh, do exactly that. So I'm gonna just copy this from here under that, and uh, uh, let's just copy this right below. And so if we look into the documentation, we need to provide first verts. Uh, then we have the edges and then faces. Paste that in. All right, um, we can actually see uh, how this data is created uh, right here in the current uh, file uh, under, I think it's meshes. Yeah, but there's a lot of uh, data right here. This actually, this is what we just created uh, just a couple lines ago, like this right here. Let's clear the scene and clear uh, orphaned uh, data. So clean up and then unused data blocks. So there's a lot of unused data blocks. We've been repeating this uh, over and over again. So let's clear that. And as you can see, a lot of stuff disappeared from the current file. Uh, let's rerun the script. And now, um, well, actually it's uh, again adding the icosphere. So let me just turn that off for just now. So I'll add a hash character. So comment this out so this won't run anymore. We can always turn that back on. Uh, again, let me uh, clean up and then run it again. All right, so now we only have one single uh, data, like mesh data, and this is exactly we're uh, creating it right here. Of course, we're not using any verts or edges, and actually now let's uh, try to do that. So the verts, the vert coordinates right here that we got from our function, uh, we can use right here. So let's do just that. Let's run uh, run the script. And now we're using those uh, coordinates as vertices, right? Uh, we can't really see it just yet. So we'll need to create uh, the mesh uh, object, right? Using the mesh data. So now let's create, uh, go again to the Interact Python console and uh, create the mesh object so it's in bpy data and then objects and then new and then i'll hit tab to get a documentation string uh, and uh, as you can see we need to provide the name and the object uh, data so this is going to be the um uh, circle object right and then the mesh data that we uh, defined above in the interactive python console right this thing right here um of course actually this is not gonna work because we deleted that data uh when we're cleaning it but uh we can just copy this right under here and then uh, assign it to a variable uh, call it mesh object uh and uh, like so. So let's run that. Now, uh, if you notice that we've got a new entry right here, uh, it's currently not seen in the scene, unfortunately. That's because we need to add it, uh, do the final step and add it uh, into the scene collection. Actually, we can at this point drag it like this, like so. And as you can see in the um, uh, 3D viewport, you, we already are seeing something. So you can actually go into edit mode and see these overts. So uh, that looks already promising. So let's go back and let's uh, do the final step of adding uh, this object that we just got into the scene. Uh, okay, so yeah. Again, I hit enter. This data already doesn't exist because we uh, cleared everything up, but that's okay. So now let's go to um, BPY, uh, context, collections, uh, objects, link, I think, yes. So we're gonna be adding, we're gonna be using this. So we're linking that object uh, into uh, the main uh, collection, right? And uh, again, we need to provide the object. I'm just gonna copy this right under here. 
and paste that in. All right, let's clear the scene. And there we go. Now, without doing any dragging, uh, our object appears in the scene collection. Now we need to start uh, connecting our verts uh, using uh, edges. Uh, the thing about this edge list is it should contain uh, tuples uh, of the indices of vert of, of the verts uh, from this list. So that means uh, remember how we were um, uh, adding uh, these verts, uh, these coordinates into uh, this particular uh, list. Each uh, element in a list has a particular indice, right? So uh, index uh, and Right now we have uh, 32 uh, verts, and so the index goes from 0 to uh, 31. So for example, um, I think uh, this is the first uh, vert, and this is the second vert. So the index for the first vert is 0 because lists in Python start from 0, and I think in most programming languages that's the case. Uh, and uh, this is the second vert, and its index is one. So to define uh, this, the first edge, we're going to go from zero to one. So this is uh, the index in uh, this uh, particular list, right? So index one and, and and sorry, index zero and index one. So let's uh, delete everything and run the script. Right. Oops. No, actually, I was wrong. Yeah, I saw on the other side. I was like, oh, no, this is broken. No, it's not. <laughs> All right. So um, uh, here it is. All right. You can see the rest of uh, the verts. And we've connect, We've managed to connect the very uh, first uh, pair, right? All right. So next one, it's going to be, let's just go from, so it's, one and then two and then let's do one more so two and three so we're going to be connecting these and uh, these two let's uh exit out of edit mode delete everything and run it again and as you can see we've connected uh these uh first four uh verts but you can clearly see that uh this is not going to scale right we can't just uh define these by hand uh, we got to use uh, something and we're going to be using you guessed it some loops so right underneath uh, here I'm going to just uh, delete all of this so we're just going to have a uh, regular list uh, definition for i in range and then I'm going to be going uh, and using the vert count so we'll need a uh, vert index and we'll need the current index and the next uh, vert index, right? Do, do, do. All right, so the current one will be i, and then the next one will be i plus one. Um, and as you remember, we this would work. So if um, i starts from, remember, zero, uh, this would be the first on the first iteration this would be zero and zero plus one is one right and we can actually use uh, the append append remember we were appending right here these um, coordinates we're going to use a similar append right here and uh, append the current next and the next and actually, you know what? I'm going to do some print debugging just to show you. So that um, I'm going to actually nicely format it within some formatting. So this, some arrows, some nice arrows, and this. All right. Uh, but we need to watch out here uh, because, uh, yes, we're looping. Uh, over the vert count and there's uh, 32 uh, elements and it goes from 0 to 31 but when we're on the very last iteration this is going to be 31 and this is going to be 32 and that's not good 
that means that will make uh, Python access or try to access uh, outside of our uh, vert list, right? So we're going to be accessing something that is not there, and that's not good. And uh, to fix that, there's actually um, a very elegant solution that I'm not going to talk about in this video. I'm actually going to make a bonus video for this video and uh, where I'll show you a nice elegant solution, but I'll need to explain a concept for you to understand. So watch out for that if you're interested and uh, make sure to subscribe to uh, get a notification when it's out. Uh, all right. So to fix the current problem in a not so elegant way, but this will do for now is I'm going to just stop uh, one before the uh, end, right? So I'm going to start stop at 31. Uh, let's uh, actually go out of edit mode, delete that and uh, run uh, the script. And as you can see, uh, we have actually collected all of these except uh, the last one and the first one. And so this one we can uh, quickly fix by a uh, not super elegant solution and just do this. So we're going to use the last index, right? So this is uh, 31 and then we're going to connect it to you guessed it, zero, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be connecting the first and uh, the last. All right, so let's delete that. And here we go. Now we have fully uh, connected all the averts. That's awesome. Uh, and also, let me show you uh, this print right here. I'm gonna go into window and uh, toggle system console. And you can see uh, this right here. Uh, you can see how we're connecting uh, like 0 and 1 and so on. So these are all these different values, right, on each iteration of this loop. So the thing that we were missing, remember, is uh, the uh, 31 and 0, which we do uh, right here. If you're learning something new today, or you just want to see more videos like this, make sure to give this video a like. It'll help me understand that people are interested in this type of content. And as promised, let's look into some more exercises to solidify your knowledge. And for your first exercise, I want you to create a function out of this code. It should have two parameters. Uh, one is going to be uh, the vert count, and the other one is going to be uh, the vert coordinates. This function also should return the mesh object that we created. Go ahead and pause the video now, and I'll tell you how I would do it right after a short pause. All right, I hope you managed to create a new function. Uh, to create this function, I would just uh, just indent this and define a new function right here. Rico mesh, and then we're passing in the vert coordinates, right? And we need vert count. All right, and actually, it doesn't really need to be. Uh, I'm just cutting by hitting control X. It doesn't really need to be here. It could be defined up here. It's okay if you uh, didn't define it up here. That's totally, uh, it would totally would still work. So uh, again, if I uh, delete everything and run it, nothing works, right? We're not calling uh, this uh, function. So let's actually call this right here call it and now again the circle uh, mesh starts appearing all right uh, and as I mentioned you should uh, return return the mesh object and that's what we're doing right here 
All right, this is what you should have uh, done. All right, for your second exercise, I want to I want you to create this scene with two circle meshes. And if you don't remember how to move or rotate meshes, don't worry. You can try to Google first, but in a couple of seconds, I'll give you a hint how you could do it. So pause the video now and try it on your own. I'll give you a hint in just a second. All right, uh, to move and rotate uh, with Python, you can just select any object and go into the transform tab and just move something and rotate, right? And below in the info panel, you'll see uh, some code that'll help you uh, to move and rotate the objects. All right, uh, let's uh, finish this. Uh, and we're just gonna use this and this. So that's gonna be that. I'm gonna change the location on the Z and set it to the radius. Uh, instead of this, I'm gonna use just X. And remember, uh, we're using radiance here, so we can use math and then radiance and then 90. All right, so let's check how that looks. All right, that's half of the problem. Now I'm just gonna copy this, paste that, oops, and then change this. And let's delete everything and run it. All right, here we go. All right, I hope you enjoyed this exercise and learned something new. For uh, more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and thank you so much for watching.